Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. If you're new, today me and Akila are going to, we, I kind of wanted to take a day trip to TJ Maxx honestly because I've been in the house for four days and I feel myself slowly going crazy. I want to try to find the the brush thing, like you guys know what I'm talking about, the Revlon like blow dryer brush i haven't been able to find it i got the wrong thing at target last time i went i forgot to tell you guys that but i got the wrong thing so and i know that i saw them at tj maxx and honestly i just wanted to get out for a drive so that'll be nice i need to go pump gas but i will update you when we're closer to the tj maxx we made it on our trek we are at tj maxx we're also gonna there's actually a lot of stores here in georgetown we came to the Georgetown location, so that's where we're at. They have a lot of like different stores over here. So there's the TJ Maxx, there's the Target, Bed Bath, Beth, uh, <laughs> Bath and Body Works. There's Ulta, there's all types of stuff. I've been here before, so it's a really nice little shopping area. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna try to find that brush thingy, hopefully. And I'll see you guys here in a little while. Look at these cute belt bags. Those are cute. Okay, I'm pretty sure, yes, they have some. I'm so excited, okay. They have different ones, there's this one. Full blown beauty. They have so much stuff here. Look. Is that the one? This isn't the one, but it's still the same thing. They have full blown beauty. And they have that one back there. They're all about the same price. Which is nice. Look at this big kit. What is that? It's Simply like a beautiful. blow dryer and then like a tangle free bristle brush. Look at this. I want one of these, but I know I know that they have one on Amazon. I want something like this. But I know they have one on Amazon with more attachment. I heard dry bar is really good. You said what? Dry bar? This one's pink. It's this whole blown beauty round dryer. It's $30. I want to be over looking at these earrings. Yeah, go. Um, Just made it out of TJ Maxx. I did a little bit of damage. It wasn't that bad, but I wanted to tell you guys what's up. I will give you guys a full haul when we get out of here. We're going to go to Ulta real quick. Put a hand sanitizer on. And then I'll give you guys a full on haul. We're actually leaving now. We stopped in Ulta and at Sally's because Akila wanted to grab some things. We're headed home now. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'll give you guys a haul of all the things that I got while I was out. And I'll talk to you guys in a little while. I am home. I am going to give you a super quick like haul of all the stuff that I ended up getting. We actually went to HEB real quick because... I needed milk and also there was a couple items that I wanted. Trevor wanted me to make rice and beans with chicken for dinner. So I always used to eat the ranch ranch style beans and just refry them. So like make them like refried beans and basically just smash them. But these are really good. If you haven't tried that yet, get ranch style beans, smash them and eat them with rice delicious i'm gonna show you guys the other things i got i also did get coffee instant coffee while i was there because i don't have a coffee maker but i got this coffee from heb it's called tejas cafe which means coffee texas coffee so this one's in hazelnut and i got a thing of kettle corn popcorn if you know me you know that i love popcorn I also did get milk because I needed milk and I got International Delight Cold Stone Creamer. I've heard that it was good. Aquila told me it was good so I got that while I was out. Like I said, I just needed this for a meal for tonight and then my coffee. I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I'll give you guys a haul of what I got while I was out at TJ Maxx and at Ulta. Before I give you guys a haul of all the stuff that I got, I need to clean. I'm going to clean in here. I have some dishes that I have to do. I have to put in a new trash bag and obviously just put stuff away. So I know that you mainly, you guys like it when I show you guys me cleaning. So. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. 
Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Okay, now it's time for my haul. Since I got the least amount of things at Ulta, I literally got two things. I've heard really good things about these Kitsch face masks. I've seen everybody wear them, and I got a new mascara, Air Volume Mascara. I've heard a lot of good things on TikTok, but I saw these Kitsch face masks, and I don't know. I've seen a lot of people wear them, and I, I've been wanting some. I saw that they sold them at Ulta, so I decided to go ahead and grab some. So there's this one that's more of like a cheetah print. This one, which、I've, I feel like I've seen everybody wear, it's more like a muted cheetah print, and a black one, which I feel like you can never go wrong with just a black face mask. So I got Kitsch face mask and the Air Volume mascara, and now let's do the TJ Maxx portion. I did finally find this. I am gonna try it out with you guys here in a second, just to make sure that it works. And I do have the receipt in here as well, just in case it doesn't. But I got this. This is the full blown beauty round dryer, and it's good because today is my hair wash day, anyways. So I bought that. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I actually bought some scrunchies like this that are similar. But I just found they're they're kind they kind of look like wool. Like Sherpa type of material, really cute though. Got two more things. Matcha. I got green tea matcha. I've been wanting to make matchas in the morning. I heard that matcha is good for a lot of things. I think this was like four dollars at TJ Maxx, so I bought that. And I also got this Living Proof In Shower Styler. It's supposed to make your hair shinier. I've heard a lot of good things about Living Proof, so I bought that while I was there as well. And That's all that I bought at TJ Maxx.、So、I'm gonna keep the receipt just in case this doesn't work. So if I need to, I can take it back. But let's go into the bathroom. Let's go figure out if this works and it's gonna work well. Everything else I already know I like. So let's go try this out. All right, we're in the bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and make sure that it works. I need to. I have little scissors right here. I feel like Angelina from Jersey Shore. I feel like saying um hello because this thing is not opening. There we go. So, looks like this. Let's make sure this thing works. Cause if not, I definitely am, am gonna have to take it back. But it looks like it hasn't been opened before. And at least it's big because I have a lot of hair. Okay, let's try it out. Let's plug it in.、I'm、not gonna take it out of its thing until we know that it works. So it definitely works, which is good. Today, like I said, is my hair wash day, so I do need to wash my hair because it is getting greasy. I think I went. I know a lot of people are like, some people are, can go like days without washing their hair. At a certain point, my hair starts to get greasy. I think I could probably get one more day out of it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it. In all honesty, at least now we know that it works, and. That it'll reach my hair. So tonight I'm gonna try this out, and I will keep you guys updated if I like it. I wanted to talk about the fact that I actually found. Hold on. I like this. You guys don't sleep on finding stuff at TJ Maxx. Also, it swivels. So like, if I'm trying to do the back of my head, I think that would be nice. It was about the same price as the other one. It's very lightweight, so at least that's nice. So I won't like strain my arm while I'm doing this because I tried doing it with the other blow dryer and just a regular brush. It worked. It just my arms got so tired. I wanted to talk about this dry shampoo. I've told you guys about this one. This one's the Dove Care Between Washes. This one comes out basically like invisible. I'll show you guys. Hold on. I'll show you this one first, which it. It does have a white cast, so just letting y'all know. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, you can see the white cast. I'm pretty sure you can. This one has a white cast, and the other one is like invisible. I do use dry shampoo on my hair between washes, 
because I feel like I just need it. So let me try to rub this out with my fingers. It's probably as good as it's gonna get, but this one comes out basically invisible. So I'm gonna show you guys this one. I'll do actually do it on the side. So it's not that harsh white cast which I know that a lot of people don't like. So this one is the Dove Care Between Washes Detox and Purify Dry Shampoo. It's in the green bottle, hold on. It's in the green bottle, so you guys know for reference. But I did want to tell you guys about that. Now I'm going to relax for a little while. I, like I said, have to wash my hair later because I just need to. I do want to eventually, the stuff that's in here in the bathroom, I like this house, but I don't like this house because it doesn't have a lot of storage for like anything. But I did get these little like bins from Five Below that I am excited about because I want to organize some stuff in the house. But I need to see if they're going to be, I think they're going to be way too big for these things in here i'm gonna keep this for now just in case but it looks pretty good so far i'm excited to try it i know a lot of you guys have told me to try the blow dryer brushes you guys are on the big tripod right now but i'm gonna take you guys off and relax for a little while i've been gone pretty much all day with Aquila. i'm gonna take out all this stuff i might make a matcha actually because i've never well i've made a matcha before but i haven't made one recently i don't know if i want to make a matcha or i want to make a coffee with the coffee that i just bought both sound good but i don't know we'll we'll see i'm actually really excited to try this living proof perfect hair day in shower styler and that's what it looks like cute okay We'll try this today too, so I'll tell you guys how I like this and if I see a difference. Oh, it smells really good. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. Okay, I'll tell you if I like this. I'm going to put everything away. I need to get my scrunchies out. Guys, these tones of scrunchies, so cute. So I'm excited. This was $5 for five scrunchies, so that's like a dollar a scrunchie. And I got a... I gotta get some scissors. So I think we might try some matcha here in a little while. Okay, we're gonna attempt to try to make a matcha. This is just, it just says green tea matcha. So I don't know how to open, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a little seal on it. Okay, so the reason I semi know how to make one because Tara Michelle makes them on her vlogs, but I don't know if I should use almond milk or regular milk. I'm going to use regular milk because I feel like if I use almond milk and I don't like it, I'm going to like not want to drink it anymore. So let's use regular milk. Let's cut this open. I got to be careful. Okay, we got it. We got it. No, there's one more. I'm one of those people that tries to convince myself I'll be fine. I'm not going to cut myself, but then like I also need to be careful. Okay, we got it. She always just puts a tablespoon in hers. Oh, okay. It's like in, in a little bag. Okay. Let's try it in one of, in like a mason jar because I feel like that'll be my best bet. And I know that she always puts like sugar in it and she normally puts stevia, but I don't have stevia. So, and she normally uses this. Some, Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. She normally uses this thing. It's not on. Do I need to change the battery? Oh, there it goes. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, does it still work? Oh yeah, she's good. Normally she puts like a tablespoon. And I don't have stevia, so I'm gonna have to use sugar. Let's see how this is gonna work. So she normally puts like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Let's see how I like this. I already know I like matcha. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough because I don't wanna put too much. <laughs> I think 
I may have needed to put more. Also, it sucks because like... Ah, this might be a fail because the powder is stuck right there. Hold on. Do you guys see what I mean? When I said the powder is stuck right there. I don't think that was enough matcha because it doesn't look like a lot. Pour some more matcha in. Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough. Oh my gosh. My life is a mess. If you couldn't already tell. Oh my god, okay. We're just gonna deal with it, we're gonna deal with it. I don't wanna put that back in there. Put more water. Okay. Okay, I think that's much better. Let's put ice in this. I haven't had matcha in like a long time. I think what Tara normally does as well is puts like a little bit of... Of creamer. So, looks like a matcha. I got the matcha. Let's try it to see if it tastes good or it needs more milk. It tastes like a matcha, but it does take, taste really milky. So I might need to do, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that coffee creamer in here and see how it tastes. This is the Cold Stone coffee creamer that I just got from International Delight. I feel like just a splash of that would be good in there. Cause like I said, I've seen Tara Michelle do it too, so. Okay. Let's see if I like it more. Oh. Oh yeah. With a little bit of this, guys, that's good. Oh, first time making a matcha at home, I love, okay. Guys, this creamer is really good. So if you guys don't already like try this with your coffee, I think this would be really good with coffee too. Put everything away, but at least we know the matcha was good. So I'm just hanging out, drinking my matcha on the floor. With that little bit of coffee creamer that I put in there, it actually made it taste so much better. Mm. It tastes nice and sweet and good. I honestly this week have not done a lot of interesting things. I've stayed home pretty much all week. I think I left one time to go with Trevor somewhere. And other than that, I've been home all week. Yeah, I haven't had a lot going on in life. I've just been editing like vlogs and stuff like that hanging out but i do trevor wants to go on a date with me on saturday since like i said today's friday so most likely i'll vlog that if we go anywhere interesting i'm thinking honestly it looks a little gloomy outside it looks like it might rain which last week all it was doing was raining so that was like really overwhelming but him and I have been talking about either going to Austin for the night and just like doing something fun over there or going to Magnolia Market. Trevor and I went a couple weeks ago, but we didn't get the chance to like, like there was a lot of people there. So we, were, we weren't there for very long. We were trying to just like go and see what it was about and then leave. But I think we might do something fun in uh, Waco pretty soon because we don't really go over there very often, which... I don't know, it was good to just kind of get out of the house for a little while, have a girl's day. I really, the main reason I was going to, I think we were in Georgetown. The main reason we were in Georgetown was to go get the styler for my hair. Like I showed you guys, my hair actually looks really good right now, it looks really shiny. But that's what we were doing and I, like I said, I haven't really done anything else. Tomorrow I'm actually going grocery shopping with Akila. I only today at HEB got like the necessary things. I didn't have any milk, so I needed milk. And like I said, Trevor wants me to make chicken rice and beans for dinner and we didn't have any beans. So I figured I would just pick some up real quick while we were in the area. We did that. 
that was nice but they didn't have any fresh tortillas at H-E-B which normally is like my thing I love me some fresh uh, tortillas but I have nothing else to do for the day honestly I think I'm gonna wash my makeup off and maybe do a face mask and just chill for a while I am actually really interested on how that air volume mascara is gonna look like I said I've heard a lot of good things on TikTok and on social media so I'm excited to try that out but I haven't had that exciting of a week because I didn't have a lot going on but you guys like you guys seem to like when I'm just like sitting with you guys in the house and talking to you <laughs> and just like hanging out but I've been very active on Instagram so if you don't follow me on there you can always go over there and follow me there because I talk to you guys quite a bit on there but yes <sighs> I also want to repaint my nails they look so bad right now but I want to repaint them because there's like some nails that are like chipping yeah we'll see if that focuses there's some nails that are chipping I got this nude nail polish and I, I like how it looks it honestly matches a lot with like what I wear because I wear pretty neutral things but I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow with Akila, and I think I'm gonna convince her to go to HEB as well because normally I like getting the fresh tortillas from HEB and I feel like I don't know if you guys I know a couple of you guys live here if you haven't done that yet make tacos go get the fresh tortillas from HEB thank me later honestly thank me later and I think I really do want to I've been I have like a breakout on the side of my head so I really want to like scrub off my makeup and I'm honestly not wearing a lot I don't know if I've told you guys this but I really don't wear that much like face makeup also when I was at the store I was talking about the fact that I want a different kind of like curling one I saw this one on Amazon I'll pop up a picture if I can but I saw this one on Amazon that comes with a lot of detachable heads tell me if you guys have one and if you like it because I feel like you guys always give me the best recommendations so tell me if you guys like that because I've been really considering getting one of those just so that I have different heads of the wand so that I can do different things let me know if you seem to like it and if you get a lot of use out of it I've also been wanting like a lot of different organizational things for the house so I think we might be taking a trip to Ikea soon because I feel like they have really good like organizational like holders and stuff like that. I got these two things from by Below. I'm going to show you guys them real quick and show you what they look like but I need to figure out where they're going to fit. Okay, I bought these guys at Five Below. They were five bucks and i feel like these would be good i hope that they can fit in my in my bathroom but i don't know if they will because i think they're a little too big but i want them to organize the stuff that i have in there because i feel like things are just like scattered and the problem with this house is i think i've said it in another vlog there's just not a lot of storage here so like we don't have a pantry we have to like put all of our stuff in cabinets which is weird because I had a pantry in the last house so I'm not used to stuff like that but I'm gonna try to see if we can make this work all right now we're in my bathroom I don't even want to show you guys this but I know we're friends so I'm gonna show you there's so many things in here that I need to organize so what I'm thinking first of all I checked the circular things that I just showed you they do fit in here. They actually fit perfect. I'll show you. Hold on. So I experimented with this to see how it was going to fit. So I literally just put it on top of everything to see. And it closes. It closes fine. So that's perfect. If I need more of these, I honestly might just go to Five Below and get more. Because five bucks isn't bad. And I normally get stuff like that for, I don't know, you would see stuff like that for more expensive. But I do want to organize my mess so I'm gonna listen to a girl and her mother-in-law like I have so many products in here that love my mom because she helped us out when we first got here and she was just like what do you need I'm gonna give you everything <laughs> but there are a lot of products in here that I'm just gonna put up here and maybe even up there I obviously need this here because this is my purple shampoo and that stuff so I obviously need that there because I use my purple shampoo very often 
This stuff I use when I have my hair curly, so I'll probably leave this down here, and this is my heat protectant. But random stuff, like I have this, I don't need this right now. So this can like go up here, and I of course I'm going to organize when I get up here. But for now, I just need to determine what's going to go up here and what can stay down here. Right now, Trevor still has a... Didn't I just put this in here? Is this the one? No, this isn't the one he was using. So this can go up here. This I use to wash my face. So like stuff that I know that I use very often, I'll keep down here. This is Trevor's for his hair. That's body wash or that's body lotion. This is a mask. Oh my god, that fell right on my foot. Okay, perfect. Um, this is Trevor's. I'll just put that there because he doesn't need that right now. You see, guys, welcome to my dysfunction. Also, all the scrunchies that I just bought, I am going to put them down here because I like having the scrunchies in reach. I don't think I need any more scrunchies anytime soon, which is good. Okay, all of this can stay down here. It's actually good that I'm coming down here and like organizing everything. This is body lotion. This actually we need to finish, so I'm going to put this in plain sight so that we can finish it. Lord Jesus. Okay, I'm going to listen to my podcast and try to do as much as I can, and then I'll update you in a little while. Also, for those who always ask me what I'm watching or what I'm listening to, I listened to the Agamil podcast, A Girl and Her Mother-in-Law, but I actually remembered as I saw this that this is my shampoo. I know it's not the best. You guys can give me your recommendations on what you like, but honestly, it just... Whenever Trevor goes shopping for me, he just brings home like whatever he wants. So most of the time I use Pantene. It's fine. It doesn't do anything really to my hair. It just makes it sometimes soft, but I need to refill. If you've been with me for a while, you know that my sister decaled these for me. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Going somewhere up in the clutch. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with a I made so much progress The stuff's in here, it looks a thousand times better than it did, thank god But all of my like necessary things are down here Which is amazing Cause I feel so much less like stressed about this situation Cause every single time I would open it I would get like Ugh. So now I feel a lot better about it. I think I might actually take this out of here and put it in the other bathroom, but I'm gonna think about it first. Now I'm done. What's up guys? I actually did not end off the vlog yesterday. Today is a new day. I'm actually vlogging today too, so you'll see this in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and just liked having a super chill day with me where I was organizing we went grocery shopping a little bit we went to tj maxx we did a little bit of everything in this vlog also i did use the blow dryer brush it worked it actually worked really well i loved it so there's your little update but if you are new i hope you stick around and if you're not thank you guys for always coming back and supporting my channel i will see you guys super super soon in a new vlog